Welcome to the session techies. My name is Jokesh. In this session, we are going to talk about Vagrant, which is a widely used DevOps tool. This session is going to be quick introduction, setting, configuring, and managing Vagrant environments. So first of all, what is Vagrant? Vagrant is an open source tool for working with virtual environments. Vagrant acts as a wrapper and sits on the top of virtualization solution like VMware, Hyper-V, VirtualBox or Libwatt. What it means now, you got uh, a virtualization solution on your machine and Vagrant basically control that uh, virtual environment along with the next level of customization. I will talk about customization in a couple of minutes. Vagrant provide a simple command line interface to manage the VMs with the custom configuration. Why to use Vagrant? So first benefit, no need to learn different CLI commands of different virtualization providers. Vagrant takes care to manage the underlying VMs with its easy command line interface. What it mean? Uh, let's say you got uh, VirtualBox or VMware or uh, Zen on your machine as virtualization solution. In that case, you have to learn the command line interface of those uh, virtualization providers, which is difficult. You can't learn uh, different different uh, virtualization CLIs. Instead, you can use Vagrant. Vagrant got very easy CLI interface. With that one, it automatically takes care of the underlying virtualization CLI commands. Second benefit, well-defined environment as configuration used to create the environment is in simple text files. User can recreate as many Vagrant instances with same Vagrant file, with the same configuration basically. Uh, what it means uh, with Vagrant, all the configuration or specifications are saved in single file, which is called Vagrant file. And uh, if you want to recreate or create uh, multiple instances with same config you can reuse that simple file and that's basically a text file so that's easy to understand vagrant is capable of executing configuration management software like puppet ansible chef once a base system is ready it means uh, vagrant got uh, functionality that uh, it can be integrated with uh, any configuration managed software which means uh, you can uh, run your Ansible playbook or Puppet jobs on your target machine. So that's again a helpful feature. A developer can create, destroy multiple development environments in a minute. It means, uh, let's say you are not using any virtualization software. In that case, what happens, uh, developer go dependency on build engineer or system engineer who can create a server for him. After that, he will run the configuration. But in this case, uh, you can simply give control to developer. Basically, only single command, which is vagrant, that is used for all the configuration. So you can create a pseudo rule for developer to run vagrant command, and they can uh, create uh, VMs or development environments as per their requirement. And once their testing is done, they can delete it. So they can manage the stack at their level. So no more engagement of system admin in this work. As I mentioned, Vagrant is a wrapper only. So you can choose uh, any guest operating system type which your virtualization solution supports. For example, VirtualBox supports Windows, Linux, Solaris, and uh, uh, RHEL, CentOS, QC, so everything is supported by VirtualBox. So that basically depends upon your virtualization provider, what operating system it supports. So Vagrant is a wrapper only. So whatever support your virtualization software got, Vagrant will automatically support it.